Good day and welcome to today's video. Russia in the previous years have, have really tried as much as possible you no, know, within all provocations by the West and the US has never called any country an enemy. But due to what is happening in Ukraine and due to the authorization of the American given to the Ukrainians to use their weapons, which is the American, the American weapons against targets within Russia, Russia have now been paged. But now Russia has nothing to hide. In fact, I think Russia is done pampering the US and the West. Listen to what he said. And we are an enemy country for them, much like they are for us. Folks, isn't this serious? For Russia, of all countries, this is not China, this is Russia. And we all know that Putin has been lenient and very careful about what he says and what he does during this war. But it seems they are being pushed to the wall and they are fighting back. That is not the West thing. The West is yet to come. Listen to what Putin said in a security meeting with his cabinet. The missile strikes against Russia are done by the Western specialists. We have no illusions about that. What must we do in response? First of all, we will improve our air defense systems to destroy the missiles. Secondly, we think that if someone thinks it is possible to supply such weapons to a combat zone to strike at our territory and create problems for us, why do we not have the right to supply our weapons of the same class to those regions of the world where there will be strikes on the sensitive facilities of those countries that are doing this against Russia? I believe you all hear what he said. He said, if the West and the US thinks they can supply weapons to its enemies, which is, in quote, Ukraine, then what Russia is going to do is going to supply weapons to the enemies of the West. Now, as, as listeners and viewers, let's just imagine that this ISIS group, this terrorist groups, lay their hands on major advanced weapons that they can make any attempt or, or they can strike into any western civilization what do you think will happen anyone listening to this video or watching this video please comment no war the comment session let these leaders know that we are fed up with their tricks. We are fed up with their, with, their, with their neocons behavior. We are the citizens. We don't want the war. As a matter of fact, we get affected the most. And that is not all. The Russians has increased their presence, I think, close to America. And they are having a military exercise, I think, with Cuba and Venezuela. Look, this thing is becoming more and more riskier. Now, viewers, listen to this. It says here that The Guardian, uh, I think 6 June 2024, Russia sends combat uh, vessels to to Caribbean to, to project global power, uh, U.S. official says. I don't think they are there to project any global power. Although they have been doing these exercises regularly, now they are sending in more you know, warships and I think uh, fighter jets will also be included. They are sending this, they are, you know, they are embarking on this exercise just because I believe when Ukrainians hit any parts of Russia, it will be easier for them to also hit any, any part of the United States. 
This will benefit no one. This will benefit no one. As a matter of fact, infrastructure and lives will be lost. Cooler heads must prevail. And the West and the Americans to simply just stop provoking the Russians. Period. This is Random George, and please subscribe to this channel.